Welcome everybody to the Onward VR Master League Season 9, Week 4. My name is Nightfire with two E's and I'm joined with my co-caster Wookie with one. How are you today, Wookie? I'm doing fantastic, Nightfire. How are you doing tonight? I'm looking forward to our matchup today. Fire Team Alpha versus Blaze. Fire Team Alpha, a newly formed squad with some veteran faces going up against Blaze, a team that has been at the top of the ladder for a little bit now. I think uh, last season they certainly proved that they are a, uh, a competitive top 10 team, and uh, we'll see how they face up against Fire Team Alpha this season. It's going to be their first time battling it out, and I mean, what are your thoughts going into this matchup, Wookie? So I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Fire Team Alpha has been just on fire. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, you know, one of the benefits of, of forming a new team is having a fresh, you know, slate. And in the case of Fire Team Alpha, when you go and look at their their stats, it's terrifying. Like they are extremely scary right now. They've won every single map except for one. So they have a hundred percent win map on every single map that they have ever played. The only map they've ever lost is Snow Peak. Uh, and it is crazy. I mean, granted, they've only played four matches so far, but still, it's really impressive. And um, I, I saw them warming up against Globo before Ooh, the game. So I hope Blaze is warmed up and ready to go because they have quite a match ahead of for them. Yeah, that is a uh, that's probably the best way you can warm up. And you know, I think it's important that we highlight exactly what this Fire Team Alpha roster is because it includes some old faces, like I said in our intro. Sickness is someone you'll recognize right away, and he is the team captain for this Fireteam Alpha squad. Dr. Aquafighter, High Voltage, Snakebite, Esco27, Me Sideways, and Shrieking Geek. And I mean, yeah, Sickness, in my opinion, did a lot for SMC Tactical in their, uh, and, and helped them grow. He, he was a huge, uh, developer of strategy and i know he was a very driven team captain it's good to see him back in the league uh, after he took his brief respite from smc tactical and uh i'm really curious to see what his team can do uh, at the same time i'm pretty excited to go and uh, uh spectate one of our fellow casters right i mean i don't know what their bands are on blaze's side i haven't heard back from noman yet but i am looking forward to watching uh, how no one, no one's team, all together, how they perform today. Well, let's assume that maybe there is no ban from no one for now. What is our ban coming in from Fire Team Alpha? Uh, it will be quarantine. So that is actually Blaze's most played map. Okay. So just a kind of generic ban coming in. It is one of our favorites to watch, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. We are about to be getting into this lobby. And it looks like for map number one, we still don't know what Blaze's ban is. Again, we're going to assume there isn't one until we get notification of that. Maybe no one will beam in that info to us later. But it does look like for map number one, we are going to be going to suburb uh, Subway to kick things off. Hmm. Subway, interesting. Yeah. I know. Isn't it bizarre? Am I seeing things? Might be. I am. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's bizarre night. Wow. I got thrown off by the night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That yeah, this is. Me off. You're right. It is bizarre. Yeah, that's interesting to see bizarre night as the opening kickoff map for this, this uh, matchup. Wow, I, I I honestly didn't even <laughs> just the loading screen. I thought, oh, this is uh, this is subway. I didn't even I didn't even think to look at it until I looked back up. And yeah, we are on bizarre night. And I mean, this is a fire team alpha pick. It's certainly an interesting way to shake up the start of the series. Kick things off with a map that I think maybe I've seen played once competitively in the league. I really like bizarre, and I like it even more that they're playing it at night because. That's going to be an interesting mechanic that kind of switches things up. Like, you got to sacrifice a point on your loadout for night vision. So yep. that could be, you know, it's a lot easier to team kill 
because you know night vision is only so effective. And so I mean, I mean yeah. you want to talk about peeking these do these doorways <laughs> oh, <laughs> being yeah, exponentially man. more risky? You're basically a a high you're highlighted with those backlightings in there, and uh, you know it's they're not exactly the same sort of risk free peaks you can make up there as you normally would be able to. I wonder if they're doing this to, to utilize like the shield mechanic a bit more effectively because it's you know obviously really hard to wear night vision during the day on Bazaar. So I wonder if we're uh, going to see a lot of shield plays coming out. Yeah, that'll be interesting using the laser. Mm hmm. Yeah. I do. We, I, I can tell you this. I'm expecting some interesting, some unique strategies from Fire Team Alpha today. I'm really looking. Like you, like you said, I'm I'm also really looking forward to this matchup, and it's one of the reasons I wanted to jump on it uh, for Friday night fights because it's this is going to be an interesting one in my opinion. I, I'll be surprised if it isn't a good back and forth, uh, but honestly, right now this is <clears throat> you know if you're looking at records, I I think I'm gonna invest my I think I'm gonna pick Blaze as the winner. As much as I love <laughs> as much as I love Sickness, I know he might might whisper me later what the heck dude but uh i just looking at the stat looking at what i've what i i haven't seen fireteam alpha play yet and i have seen blaze play and i know they're looking good this season so uh oh yeah you know i they have nomen cryo cell prefontaine bird's eye view batman silent knight squigookin zero super strong roster that's been that same roster i think for the last two or three seasons now uh you know they have only lost to I guess they've lost two games. Uh, Ember and Dangler is two teams that are playing very good this season as well. But, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. Maybe I don't I'm I'm right there with you. I, I don't mean, know. Maybe I, I, mean, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm wafting. I might, I, might, I might sigh with Fireteam Alpha as much as Noman might also come at me. <laughs> what the heck? <dude. laughs> <laughs> I think it's good that you are, you're rooting for Blaze because I'm rooting for Fireteam okay. Alpha. They, uh, they, I, it's hard for me to assign Not them rooting. as that's your, underdog. That's what you're predicting. That's what we're, that's yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what uh, I'm predicting. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm... <laughs> we're, we're rooting for good games. That's what we're rooting for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so Peacekeepers are technically the underdog, but it's like, it's like saying that the Patriots got rebranded and then calling the Patriots an underdog. You know, it doesn't yeah. feel quite right, but in this case, technically, they are the underdog and, you know, We'll see if uh, Fire Team Alpha can put up uh, a fight against Blaze. I know that when Blaze played Mayhem, we uh, we were not ready for how good they improved over last season. So I I'm really excited to see this lineup. Like the second I saw that this game uh, match time was posted, I think I signed up immediately because <laughs> I was just excited to see how these guys uh, duke it out. Yeah, most recent win against Five Horsemen, and as you as you all, I think you highlighted, they are undefeated. So. I, uh, <clears throat> I honestly think it's a pretty even, evenly <laughs> matched up uh, uh, battle we should have today. Just looking at the numbers, I'm excited. I think we're waiting on one from Fireteam Alpha to get into the lobby. Maybe we can fish around for that Blaze ban while we have some downtime here. Yeah, you know, I think Blaze, are, maybe Nomen looked at the stats page for Fireteam Alpha and just like shook his hands like or his head like what am I gonna do like <laughs> the, you don't know what map to ban against these guys they've only played each map like once maybe twice so it's just a wild card it's like they could be good at anything you don't know you ban your weakness basically exactly yeah so I guess Blaze is pretty confident in that in that regard yeah, maybe they want a more open map pool I'm all for it Sometimes Mayhem doesn't ban anything just because we feel really confident going into the match, yeah. you know? I mean, it can work for you and work against you, depending on how you know, where that best of three comes down to, what maps are open. Right, yeah. I don't think Blaze was expecting a night map, <coughs> map one. Way to kick it off. Do have active rosters. It looks like everyone in the lobby over on Fire Team Alpha, the Sickness Team Captain, High Voltage, Esco, Doctor Aqua Fighter, and Snake Bite. Over on Blaze, we have Zero, Prefontaine, Birds, Silent Knight, and Cryo Cell. No Nomen. Picture there, which I think is interesting. 
And almost as if yeah. to start on the countdown of their names, we are going to be hopping into the action. You don't got to wait anymore, Wookie. The exciting Friday night series is underway. Round one, map one, bizarre night. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> you know, I bet uh, Noman's probably having a date or something because he has a life, I guess. Unbelievable. So, unbelievable. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank you for, <laughs> for spending your Valentine with your one true love, Onward VR Master League. You're our Valentine. We love you. Here comes a fire team alpha push. Oh, there's that shield night vision laser combo I mentioned. So, yep, they are definitely going for that strat here. Cryo able to draw a little distraction. The high the push from high voltage. Ooh. Verds over the top finds the pick. Dr. Aqua with the refrag. Sickness has info on Verds, and Verds has to drop back off those shots. They have a couple positioned here. Blaze, the Silent Knight, and Verds watching out the, the uh, windows. Verds is trying to find some picks. Very risky to be peeking here. That was a great refrag by Verds. Oh, Verds got. Yeah. He tried to throw a C4 out the window, it didn't work out for him. Over the shoulder shot from Aqua Fighter. Silent tries to peek up and over at Sickness, but he almost gets taken out by the rifle. And some really good Overwatch over the shoulder from the uh, on the shield here. He's drawing the attention perfectly, doing exactly what you want to do with the shield. And here come the smokes. 4.50 on the clock, and Fireteam Alpha is prone, uh, positioning themselves to push in on objective. Out shot from Silent Knight finds one. The, the, the pistol with the laser picks up the kill there. You have everyone dropping left and right. There's now only one remaining defender on Blaze, Prefontaine, and he realizes he has to rotate around objective. It does expose himself to Snakebite, who oh. had shots there but doesn't take him. Snakebite might, might, might rotate around for the calf. Ooh. Wow, Prefontaine thought he cleared it. He's not taking shots. He drops back and he finds the double. No, he just picks up one. He still hasn't taken care of the final member. Nate comes out and over. Is it going to find Esco? No, it doesn't seem like it's a Nate. It's a simple flash. Esco finds the frag. Wow, what a game. I thought for sure he was going to get capped on, but he I think he heard him behind him or something. Just checked the, checked the objective really quick, but that was a, a great last stand for Prefontaine. Let me catch my breath here. That was... Saw a minute and a I half know. of action. <laughs> it's quite a first round, I'll say. Clearly a plan in mind. Well, I liked that part where Esco was trying to distract Prefontaine mm -hmm. while uh, I can't remember who it was. I mean, that was flanked around a cap. That's unreal awareness of Prefontaine's part. He knew how far he was away from objective. He knew the risks he was taking when he pushed out to look for that kill. When he didn't find it, he then turns mm -hmm. around to check objective and denies the cap. Yeah, that was super strong play by his part. I was worried that he was going to go upstairs and cap, but uh, he did not do that. Oh, yeah, so. you're right. That would have been the move, huh? It, it's such a tricky. Yes, it would have been the move. I mean, it's such a. He was there. Scary. He didn't. Prefontaine didn't see yeah. him when he pushed out. He could have slipped in behind him. Yeah, absolutely. That's. I thought that's what he was gonna do: is run upstairs and cap. But he just went for it, and I don't blame him. Yeah. But that. I mean, being a, a lone defender on this objective is terrifying. So I think Prefontaine handled it extremely well. And at night. Yeah, and at night. Just to make it that much more scary. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have this big flashlight that beams down on the map for the spectators, so it's always easy to see, but as we hop into round two, you can see it gets pretty dark. I suppose that moonlight does help <laughs> a little bit, but when you get down in there, it's it's tough to see unless you got night vision, and everybody, for the most part, is rocking night vision, so we'll have our flashlight on. Yeah, I think God, we have a, a floodlight following yeah, us around. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get the call out if you hear multiple. Just get the call out and we can control. Be able to peek through fog of war. This is a coordinated push here from Blaze. Backed up on the corner. Other two with overwatch positions. And I think these three are going to hold for a second while they rotate. 
get set up. A pretty long nade. Smoke's getting tossed in here. Jeez. Prefontaine has quite an arm on him. And that's some pretty good coverage up on this left side. They're able to push through. No rotations coming in from Fireteam Alpha. Wow, this is an extremely strong push coming out of Blaze. Is Asko going to tear him? Oh, no. He does find two. Cryo picks him off. Cryo's going up the stairs, though. Fireteam Alpha is not reacting appropriately, and Cryo's going to get a free cap up on the second floor. Blaze with an answer back. I think Cryo's on the wrong balcony. Is he? I don't think he can cap. Yeah, I don't think he can cap from that balcony. Oh my gosh, Sickness realizes this. He's coming up. Cryo can't cap. He right. He has to get the rifle out. He misses the shots. Does find Sickness. Now he's in an awkward position. The double there. Oh. The huge double. He picks up two. He goes back to trying to cap up from the second floor. I think he can do it here. He does, Blaze. Oh, wow. <laughs> What <laughs> took him so long? For, I mean, for, for a second, it looked like he couldn't get the cap from where he was. He was trying to kind of maneuver out yeah. of the balcony more. Maybe he just didn't enter the code in right the first time. I think that's what happened. I legitimately thought he just couldn't cap right there because he was taking so long. But yeah, clearly, I was wrong. Yep. <laughs> you can cap from that far off balcony. I, th I also th I, I thought you could cap from that corner. I, you know, yeah. I, I thought if you, if you go to that if you go to that corner of the balcony where he was, I was pretty sure you could cap there. But I thought it had to be the corner <laughs> too. I didn't think you could do it from the doorway. So that's really interesting. Either way, quite the wow. uh, interesting method to getting that cap. Had to pick up the rifle, snag a double kill, and then goes back to punch in the code. That was such a great double kill too. I mean, against sickness, against Aqua. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was very well played. Unreal. Nice coordinated push. The smoke's very well done, and just not a strong enough rotation on defense from Fireteam Alpha there. They didn't have, uh, no. you know, they didn't really expect a straight up the middle push. They were really positioned defensively wise for some rotations around their flanks uh, and for the, the rotation around the backside, and they honestly left the entire <laughs> the front of their objective free to charge through. It's just, it just goes to show you, right, how hard it is to defend this objective. Yeah. There's just really no easy way to do it. I mean, if there was an easy way to defend it, uh, it would be used every time. <laughs> yeah. But there's there's so many approaches. I think that they were expecting a mirrored approach similar to what they yeah, did. Yeah, they were prepped for the mini bizarre battle, you're right. Yeah. Well, we stay over on this side for round number three. This game is delivering... In almost every way, I expected it to. Fireteam Alpha going on the offense. Blaze got to be ready for a quick push. And, you know, we were talking offline, and we said this is going to be a fast game. <laughs> <laughs> we did, yeah. I wonder just how fast it'll be yeah. once we get out of Bazaar. Maybe we'll go into cargo or something, or, or a tanker round. Downfall's an option. Could True. slow things up as well. Crow's getting aggressive on defense. Wow. Yes, he he's, heard that shield. Oh, the smoke's come in. He does. He does spot it, but that's not gonna. That's not really ideal for him to be spotting this because here come the shots from high voltage uh, through the wood. Yeah. Watch out, one, one probably cross hey, southeast. We're, we're on. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm it's so risky pushing up that far as a defender. Yeah. Silent has a bit of a better position right now. Almost catches sickness on the rotation. Dr. Aqua's got to be careful of Silent Knight here over at the tank. Yep. Ooh, and he does spot the rotation out. High voltage. So information getting relayed into the Blaze squad. They have a pretty good idea of where the Fireteam Alpha team is located. I am worried about that flanker, Esco. Yeah, I just he noticed is just... That. Yeah. Let's go. I think he spots Cryo in the doorway. Yeah. Island Knight is in a increasingly dangerous position here. <laughs> wow. 
Flash comes out and over. It doesn't hit him, but Snakebite peeks out and catches one. Prefontaine answering back with the refrag. Sickness ducks back down. Verds picks up one as well. Blade. There is so much happening. Yeah, they are. Insane. Ooh, shots coming in. Dr. Aqua almost finds one. Cryo Cell. Took out the shield. That big LMG, and he caught him out from Blue Room, it looks like. He's going to hold that angle and wait for the next dead. attacker there. Another one down. Pretty huge pickup for Esco. Evens the odds now. We're, in, we're into a 2v2. Esco and Dr. Aqua. Aqua looks like she's rotating around here to support Esco. And, and I mean, pretty good yeah, defensive be setup here. Just have Aqua's to going. Then. Yeah, I mean, Aqua's just, just trying to regroup with Esco, it looks like, and I don't blame her. It's good to have a battle buddy with you. Checking her pad too, just to make sure that Esco is not an enemy <laughs> yeah. before blasting it back. Looks like things have slowed down just a little bit. With how fast it's been going, there's still plenty of time, though. 2.20 on the clock. They certainly can't afford to slow this down. Aqua might be able to find birds on rotation, oh. and she does. Never underestimate Onward's ability to screw you the second you rotate. <laughs> Oh, but it gets <laughs> Prefontaine revives birds, so that's super good. Blaze are still in it. Yeah, it's a pretty big res. Aqua dropping off that angle. Not ideal. I'm shocked that she didn't confirm it, but maybe she just didn't have quite the angle to. Go sending Aqua around on the rotation. Verds is looking for that rotation. Ooh, catches it out. That's only one remaining for Fireteam Alpha. He does rotate around here. Verds drops back in time. Looks like he was going to. Oh, I think he was trying to just trying to reload, but he grabbed his C4 detonator there for a second. He does have it in his hand. <laughs> he doesn't want to grab it. 50 seconds left on the clock now. Esco has to push in. He's dropped the shield. He's going rifle LMG, and he's going to try and pick up this double kill as he pushes in. Prefontaine has an angle. Verge pushes the corner. Down goes one. Prefontaine peeks it. Can't find the shots. Oh, Esco now. Man. Can he get the double? He does. Wow. I can't believe that just happened. They just mistimed that peak on defense you know what they wanted to do yeah. is have him quick peek the angle and have the overwatch come in and take out you know that's how you you, you sacrifice one but so the other one has a clean line of shot a clean line, uh, line yeah. of fire and they just missed their timing and so he was able to grab one he dropped back shots missed on him as he rotates around a humvee and a very key double to keep blaze in this because it was about to be 3-1 fire team alpha Man, I don't, I don't know if it was just the the wood from the bazaar uh, shop, like the the wooden table blocking his bullets. I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like a good refrag from the lasers, but nothing was connecting. It's that impenetrable balsa wood strikes again. I have gotten info that it isn't a TVD ban from Blaze. Like Blaze has banned Tanker. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Good to know. Yeah. Helps us kind of guess where we're going to be headed next.
Esco six and one for a fire team alpha right now. Quite the kill leader. And it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I was just tuning into the fire team alpha uh, group as they prep in that 15 seconds, and I heard Sickness kind of readying them for rotations. And so I think that yeah. they are, uh, I like to hear that. That's, that's Sickness's team captain and veteran uh, leading there coming into play because he's reacted off of their last round where that cap came in and they didn't rotate properly. And so I think he re recognized that and he's addressed it with his team. I'm really glad you caught that because it was, it was a good tidbit of information to hear from him. I think Silence just pre-firing nothing. And it's only 5.20 in, and we are diving into round number... Oh, not five. Four? Yes, four. Silent Knight here holding a nice little angle. Has the straight line through the entire defense of Blaze. If they do cross, he has an angle. He might have Ooh. spotted one. He does get sickness. Wow. <laughs> Just through that small crack in the in the yeah. buildings. That's incredible. I Volsic about to have one right at his side. I don't think he sees the push from Cryo Cell, and Cryo's already dipped past the smokes. The smoke's a nice audio uh, distraction for Cryo, and I wonder if Cryo's gonna try and go in for a cap right now. Dr. Aqua gets exposed around the corner. He goes down. Cryo's pushed up oh. on objective. Pads out. Snake bite isn't rotating around. The shots come in from High Voltage on the back side though, and they save the day for now, but they're into a 2v3. You know, I wonder if Fireteam Alpha will get that res up. Probably not. One's on objective. Ooh, Snakebite trying to rotate and cover his multiple angles that he's responsible for as the last one alive and silent. Capitalize off, capitalizes off that high voltage, risking rotating as well, but does dip back inside, and Silent picks oh. himself up a second. I think I got him. Oh, my knife. I got him. <laughs> Celebratory remarks coming out of Blaze. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that uh, they that Fireteam Alpha wasn't a little bit more worried about that pallet. <laughs> Considering how they just uh, used it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and Aqua Fighter used it too prior to the last round. Yeah, that's a very good spot to be peeking up and over. You basically have one of the cleanest lines of sight straight yeah. into a defense. It's, it's a super good angle, and I think you're going to see teams maybe prioritizing that corner a little more on defense, or... Uh, it's such a powerful angle. Yeah, I mean, you as have to watch it. No? Yeah, and it's so hard to watch. Like you'll be, you will be watching it, and then you look away for one moment, and then they mm -hmm. shoot you from it. You know, just because of onward logic, just how the onward gods work. Looks like both teams are taking their time, drawing up a strategy. Yeah, and I was just giving myself and us here at the desk a little breather because the action is quick once it starts with these two teams. And No joke. We're diving into this next round right now, and with this objective, there's some serious quick maneuvers that are available. Especially with Fireteam Alpha spawning on the east side of the map, but it looks like they're opting to rush towards the... Center or the west? Shots coming out real early. Pre fire down the lane. Does give away Fire Team Alpha spawn. Clearly, Fire Team Alpha not concerned about that as they should. High voltage goes down. Sickness will get the res.
I went. Gets stuck in the fountain in high voltage. Lucky <laughs> to get away with his life there. It's only a matter of time, I think, before Aqua Fighter and Verds uh, run into each other. Zero finds one. Sickness pistol out. Does see zero. Can't get shots out. Zero safe. Flash coming up and over. Yep. Aqua Fighter and Verds about to find each other. Targeting oh, someone hell. else. Verds takes the opportunity to peek and gets the shots. Esco trying to lay down some suppressive fire through wood. Picks off zero. She's got to, uh, he's got to be concerned about Verds on his left. A bad C4 toss. Not exactly yeah. where he wanted it to go. Got stuck on the wall. And That's the trick with C4s. You have to have a clean flight path for it. Otherwise, it'll stick to anything within a foot of the object. Yeah. I know from experience. <laughs> yeah, I think Verge probably wanted to toss that right at Esco, and if it not, if anything, yeah. air burst it as it got close to him. But it looks like it got sucked into the balcony, unfortunately. Or not the balcony, the tarp thing <laughs> over the doorway. You know anything about Sickness as a player? He is very sneaky. shield here, which isn't exactly a small target, but I don't think plays are anticipating one to be over where he is. And Esco knows that he's kind of stuck there. He's not moving. Yeah. Oh, and now Sickness' position is given up. He spotted one. Holding the cross angle, Verd's there. It is a good opportunity for Esco to rotate and get out of there, though. <laughs> yeah, he's not trapped anymore inside the wood pallets. Okay, Verd, sorry, I don't have eyes on him. Both team members of Fire Team Alpha doing a good job of of relocating. Trying to be quiet in communication. Does try to sneak oh. behind the defense. Three Fontaine with a nice angle oh, no. catches him on the wow. side. Wow. That was a beautiful shot. <laughs> through the doorway, through the window. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's go. Can't find the kill. Verds picks him up. Dang. Blaze takes a bizarre night. Add it to the list of lost maps for Fireteam Alpha. Yeah, it's not very many, but Blaze certainly looking good on what, in my opinion, was probably a... It didn't seem like a very surprise pick from Blaze. They seemed to handle the night very well on Bizarre. No kidding, right? They are, uh... <laughs> oh, night maps? Let's do it. <laughs> it's just another evening for them. Curious to see what we're going to see for our map number two. And, uh, well, I was just one map ahead because it is going to be Subway now. Nice. <laughs> good good prediction, uh -huh, Nightfire. Uh -huh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I like it we go from one night map to another night map. So I'm pretty sure the loadouts are untouched. Although this is going to be a much more CQB focused engagement. So uh, 
I'm expecting lots of shield plays again. Maybe a lot of C4. Either way, though, this is quite an exciting first first map. On to map two. I think that uh, Fireteam Alpha had a really strong, you know, strategy to Bizarre, but I think that the downside to their their strategies on attacking with the shield and everything is just that the fact that Bizarre is a really large map and you just have a, a lot of damage drop off from the pistol uh, from Sickness as he plays shield. So this is this being a much smaller map, well, I should say tighter map. I think that the offense from Fireteam Alpha will, will work out a little bit more in their favor this time around. Yeah, I'm kind of curious why Blaze decided to pick this map, considering how Fireteam Alpha just played, you know, that bizarre night, very shield heavy. You're sort of giving them an opportunity to utilize their shields again. I know. I mean... It's the fire team alpha have only played this map once okay well i mean they haven't played so. a lot of <laughs> they played a lot of maps once out of that, you know what i mean like they're a new team yeah. in the league so it's so yeah it's really hard to tell but you know it is shocking because blaze have only played this map like 11 times in the history of the league that is 11 so times still though <laughs> you know that, <laughs> they have some experience on it but maybe they've been practicing they got some strategies hashed out a lot of league matches have uh, been going on on this map, so a lot of strategies getting uh, exposed, unveiled, if you will. And yeah, what well, nice nade gets behind Verge. Prefontaine goes down. High voltage is able to confirm that kill. Verge tries to frag high voltage, and he's able to duck back around the corner in time. You couldn't ask for a better start to your defensive round from Fireteam Alpha. That was exactly what they wanted to do, being the aggressors there up on yeah. those stairs. Just get one, drop back in. You've got your lead, just hold the objective. Absolutely. Even just getting one of those guys down is a huge advantage as a defender. They still have to come to you. Yep. I'm not sure why they just left those two smokes right there. And okay, all right. I think they were honestly maybe a little concerned about one being on the corner there. Yeah, I think so. You just you want as much smoke coming down the stairs as you you, you can muster, right? Yeah. Otherwise, they shoot your legs. Island Knight finding himself a pick on the staircase. That's a pretty nice pick up for the. Blaze team. Ooh. Sickness with a C4 detonation. A quick res. He peeks up and finds two. A nice double for himself as Silent Knight wreaks havoc underground. Zero also pushing in. And Blaze in a 1v3. Rotations coming back towards objective out of Sickness and High Voltage. And they're back to controlling OBJ. If Zero can get Dr. Aqua, he has an interesting position on objective. Yeah, but once he kills her, if he does pull it off, the whole team's going to crash on his location. Oh, there we go. Aqua's going to call it out right now, and everyone's going to be ready for a zero coming from the tracks. He's pretty much trapped in a pickle pressure. right now. Esco's not here. It's voltage. I don't know if you've ever been trapped in a pickle before, but it sucks. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> Especially if you don't have any utility available. Yeah, well, he does seem to have a smoke grenade on him, but I'm not sure how effective Goodness. that'll be. Aqua. Ooh, Aqua's getting aggressive. I don't think she's going to be ready for his new position. Nope. Oh, but he doesn't confirm the kill. Thickness does there spot it out. Grenade comes in in the kill. <laughs> Definitely didn't see that one coming. Nice toss. Managed to pick up a shield, utilize that as a little bit of cover, and Fireteam Alpha kick off their defensive round number one with a win. You know, that is a side effect of playing a team that is really good with shields. Yeah. If you go down, yeah, they're, sure. they're going to take that shield and use it against you. 
interesting though, because in this case, both teams do have skilled shield players. Yeah, and I mean, on defense, a shield is even more powerful, if you ask me. Oh yeah, of course. The only downside is usually you have to use a Makarov, but eh. Usually the other another teammate will shoot him with a, a flank or something. You can always one hand rifles. <laughs> True. <laughs> I do it all the time with shotguns. I remember that being one of the early strategies when shields. Kind of were introduced. I, I, people people use the shotgun, I, but it's such a huge investment, right? Because you have to basically give somebody without a shield just a pistol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give give the shield user a, your shotgun, and then you're yeah. stuck with a pistol. Yeah. The oh. only issue is having to pick up all the individual buckshot rounds off the ground. <laughs> that too. Those are the few, really, but. Yeah, a tried but not practical strategy. We'll see what sort of practical strategies we get out of Fireteam Alpha on the offense. Hit up round. I can't wait to see how they approach this because, I, you know, it's it's so typical to go north stairs. So I wonder if they're going to go north stairs. Looks like one's opting to go south. Oh, it looks like they are splitting off a little bit, so that's good. I like to see that. Early aggression from Blaze on these stairs, though, and actually they've invested quite a few in the center. I think that's smart on Blaze's part. Oh, no, look at this terrible C4 placement. I don't know if this is going to work out, but a shield user could easily knife that on camera, too. Or he tried to toss it up on the wall or something. To yeah, get it there. It is surprisingly hard to play C4. So though, are you really going to be looking? Yeah, yeah, you'll see that. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely see that. <laughs> There's no way that they right in your line of sight. That. Yeah, and you'll just knife it really quick. Not like you're a secret that <laughs> you're up here. Well, you know, shooting it takes a few bullets versus the knife. That's just instant. But yeah, it will be interesting to see if they can... Shoot it. Oh, yep, they called it out already. More, more, more. Can't tell. I think it's still online and still active. Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, but Snakebite's going to get that revive. Easy peasy. No harm, no foul. Interesting that it did get sickness. <laughs> I don't know how that would have. He had his shield there in front of him. Maybe snuck under uh, his toes there. C4 just happens to go through the shield, I think. I think the shockwave is what technically kills you in this game. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but with a frag grenade, yeah, you can block it with the shield. C4, on the other hand, you can't. Taking a page out of your book here, the smokes are coming in thick onto the stairs. This is devastating if it's done, because like all they need to do is take out zero, and then they can cap behind that corner. Yeah, they know right where he is. Sickness calling him out there. High voltage, able to get inside. Oh! Oh, oh man, this is not good. Yeah. They are so capping right now. Yep, high voltage punching in the code. Cryo, everybody invested in the center objective defense. And with four alive on objective, Fireteam Alpha snags a cap and pushes their lead three to zero on Blaze's map choice. Wow. This series keeps <laughs> keeps on delivering. I was getting I was worried that Blaze right? might start running away with the series after uh, kind of bouncing back very well from that bizarre uh, early bizarre loss. I, I'm speechless. I mean, that should be your number one fear yeah. as a defender, and they just completely overlooked it. I'm not sure what was going on through their, with their strategies, 
But yeah, they clearly were thinking they're gonna push across the platforms that, or something. That one south, that one that invested south was actually pretty key because he manages to pick off the defender that is in the turntables that would have been able to push the cap. Zero yeah, goes I, down, and then everybody else is too afraid to rotate. Yeah, that one southern guy that they sent was was perfectly placed, uh, positioned to to get anyone that was repositioning in response to that north approach. I thought that was very nicely done. Our team Alpha is certainly looking good today. The bounce back from a 4-2 loss is uh, not easy to do. No, not at all. And especially not on your map yeah. pick. I, I, again, though, looking at how Fireteam Alpha plays, you know Sickness is a huge shield user. He's the team captain. Right. That's going to influence how his team plays. So they're probably going to even sometimes double down on shields. And to pick Subway, I just don't... I just don't get what they were thinking. Either way, you know, Blaze may... Uh, maybe they'll surprise us here as we hop into round number three. They, have, they are going on the offensive. And I'm curious, what objective are we heading over to? Uh, this is the... What is this? Middle platform? Yeah. I would say out of the available objectives, this one is certainly up for tapping if they can get the right smokes and the right picks on defense. <laughs> but I yeah, guess that's, the, that's true for any objective, really, if you get the right picks. <laughs> yeah, but this one especially. I mean, going from the north objective, which is pretty easy to cap on, to this one is rough because this is pretty easy to cap on, too. You have that... That false sense of security that you think your team is watching every corner because you can't really expose yourself as a defender on this one. So, you know, it's easy to sneak around from behind and, and just cap on this from, from a vulnerable flank. Actually, I hate defending this objective the most out of all the objectives because there's so many angles. Yeah. It's like Kia, you know, from Bazaar. It's right. just endless possibilities. Seeing one of those... Newer entry points getting utilized here, Silent Night and Cryo Cell, taking control of the stairs. Yeah, we had a premature C4 coming out of Sickness. Let's see. Yeah, Ver is trying to distract the fire team yeah. off the defense here, if anything. And, that, you know, got to be aware of that. I do think high voltage sickness are pretty drawn in on this, but sickness does seem to also be maintaining his angles out towards objective. I feel like Verge is waiting for some sort of signal. Waiting for everyone to get into position before he starts adding some pressure to those defenders. I'm sure Sickness is cursing himself for blowing his C4 that early. Fontaine finds Snake Bite on the south. Esco with a nice answer back on the cryo cell. And we have trading going on across map. That's amazing that Prefontaine was able to get that pick Eyes on, on zero, pads out on objective, and this is the danger of this OBJ. Oh, zero is going to answer back with fire team capping. Esco doesn't check it in Blaze. Oh, man. There it is. That, that flank. That, exactly what you talked about, Wookie. I mean, they thought they had all the angles covered, and you lose one angle and you're done for. It's so easy to push up there, get behind something, and punch in the code. That cursed map <laughs> completely blocks all vision. So easy to cap from behind that, that map. I mean, definitely you want to have some guy over there, but he got taken out, so maybe, maybe it's safer to have two over there. And you know, sick then... Sickness was supposed to watch that, but he was so focused on underground that he what didn't maintain the angle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Verds was just distracting him. His taunting actually working. Yeah, it really paid off. <laughs> you know, it's something like that that 
the higher echelon teams seem to do a bit more often. Like they, they definitely like to antagonize each other in the round a bit. <laughs> kind of get in your head a little. They know the meta. They understand the positions and what, you know, what can re what can happen. They're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's not too many unknowns for these players at this point in their careers, but. Yeah, I can't wait to see the new positions that Onward uh, dev team is working on. I'm sure that'll shake things up a little bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. You start moving projective around. Obviously, changes everything. <laughs> changes everything yeah. about how you defend and approach the objective. So yeah, that'll be a great little, uh, little shake up. But as things do go both ways in this game, now Blaze have to defend the equally capable objective. We're in round three? No, four. Uh, round... Th yeah, round four. I wonder if Blaze is going to be cautious about that approach since they just won doing it themselves. Seems like they're pretty aggressive. Oh, high voltage comes charging in before Verge is even ready to detonate his C4. They're still chatting about defensive oh, positions. Man. And he nearly picks up two Verges here. Sickness is looking for the shots. He doesn't land him. He does oh, find Verge. Oh, no way. He can't get the confirm out. Oh, there it is. But he was radioing a lot of information before that happened. What a crazy start. Prefontaine concerned oh. about the objective. Does push up. Snake fight reaches out and snags himself a kill. Oh, now Cryocell has to defend. And, and this is the position you sit in to prevent the cap that happened against uh, Fireteam Alpha. But now he's rotating oh, out. Oh, Cryo. Nice refrag coming out of zero to take out Sickness. A huge refrag. If he didn't find that one. Yeah, it was game over. Is awfully close. Zero's gonna push up the stairs. He's gonna look for one. Can't oh. find it. The trade goes down and fire team alpha. Nice job. Grab themselves a map. We're going to a best of three. I'm excited. That's what I was really hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. I think we're both both what we wanted to see here at the caster desk. And I mean, who's gonna object to a very serious and focused map three with how great these two, two, two teams have been battling it out. We've seen some really good coordinated strategies, fast pushes, planned moves come in from both teams today. I'm gonna laugh if it's another night map. <laughs> they might just go all in, you know, embrace the nightness, the darkness. Oh, look at that, Suburbia Night is the next map that they're wow. gonna roll with. Well, you know, it's Friday night fight. They're sticking true to the motto. <laughs> Only night maps, because we're playing at night. It makes sense. Nice. I'm okay with this theme. But again, you know, both teams really capitalizing on their own strengths, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I it'll be interesting. I feel like I feel like Fire Team has a has a stronger shield game, so I, I'm surprised that. Blaze went with another close range night I know. now. You know. Oh, this is Fireteam Alpha's pick. Oh, you're right. Apologies. Uh, Subway, they did well on. Bizarre, Blaze looked good. You know, uh, so. Sub suburbia here now it's certainly a uh, I really do think we're gonna get I think there's a potential for a for this to come down to 3-3 three, three last round I absolutely agree this is there's uh, this is fireteam alpha's second most played map out of the <laughs> limited pool of maps that they have played yeah. what are blazes numbers on it I'm wondering uh, not so good. Okay. They've, they have a 50% win rate, but they've only played it twice in all the uh, wow. history that they've existed. So, Suburbia Day, on the other hand, they have a 48% win rate. So, yeah, it's almost a coin flip.
imagine not a lot of teams have played very many of, <laughs> of the night map variants. <laughs> Be honest with you, we've seen it from time to time, uh, you know, every once in a while. But yeah, it'll be interesting if this is sort of Fire Team Alpha's mo, right? To go in at night, try and use that as a additional. I don't know. It's maybe not advanced. It, it's if anything, it's it's disrupting to your enemy. Yeah. Team, right? I, I I wonder how long Fire Team Alpha will get away with the style right. of play right. as they get more well known and further into the season are you sure? people are going to start to be wise to this method well if they manage to take this uh map i'm sure they'll be on a couple of folks radars going into the rest of the season because they have been looking pretty good today but blaze bouncing back here see how they do as we dive into round number one map i one. really like Bla blaze has a great defensive uh like structure going on right now so Fireteam Alpha definitely has their work cut out for them here. Yeah, you take a look at the overhead, you can kind of see they have a nice three-man split across their front line through the center. One pushed forward, zero here, trying to look for an early pick, and then he'll most likely drop back with support from the two that are holding objective side uh, back at their spawn. Oh, Aqua just botched a grenade oh. throw and downed herself. Oh. <laughs> Just a down, though. Lucky. It's blue. You know, that's one of the, <laughs> the, the problems with indexes sometimes. <laughs> the tracking. tracking it's not janky. so much the tracking. It's your hands get sweaty on the index controllers, and they, they think you're still gripping when you're really not. Mm. Yeah, I got my Especially on a map three decider like this. I mean, my hands would definitely be a little sweaty right now. Yeah. Nerves certainly high for both teams. Zero able to find an early pick. Almost gets grabbed. Cryocell also finds Snake by it and Alpha suddenly down to two. Zero grabs one with a PKM. Aqua answering back onto Zero. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it. Snake Bite was going for that prone flank around the west, and Cryo was having none of it. He saw it immediately, <laughs> took him out. Got caught all that one. Numerous trades going across the board there. Oh, yeah, all at the same time, of course. That's just how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Blaze looking really strong right now, though. Four defenders still up. Just two remaining on Alpha. They are doing a very good job to quickly respond to a pretty commanding Fireteam Alpha win on Subway. I mean, they capped with four on objective, you know? Yeah, no, it's... That's, both teams did, true. I think. That's definitely something you don't see every day. Four up and a cap. But it happened twice in one game, so... You've seen it here first, folks. High voltage of Aqua trying to do some work here. Shots coming in through the wood over towards Silent. They don't land as he goes prone to dodge the fire. They got plenty of time still on the board. Three minutes. I think Aqua is going to go loot Sickness's body for some uh, smokes or something. Oh, just grabbing the shield. That's all. She doesn't want the smokes. Or maybe she does, and she's just getting rid of them. Getting rid of the ones that she already has on her. Oh, is she going to pre-fire that fence, I wonder? Pretty good smoke. Nice vision a little bit from Verds. Could be better. But yeah, she was going to look for some. Yeah, I think she should have pre-fired it. I know you don't want to give away your position when you're one of the last guys on the map, but it's such a strong pre-fire against uh, Silent Knight's position. Aww. The peak there, Verd's able to find the kill. He did get tagged, but didn't get downed, and now high voltage all alone on a 1v4. You know, it's unfortunate because 
I, I see it all the time. People will pick up a shield and then they just throw, <clears throat> throw it on their back and they don't use it to peek those really dangerous corners. It's like, you have a shield. You should use it for Pete's sake. Uh-oh. High Volt is going to get shot through the fence here. But he survives ducking down behind the white car. Now High Volt is yeah. just... <laughs> Not feeling too comfortable about that push. Drops back. Minute 15 oh. on the clock. Doesn't have a ton of time. And unfortunately, he can't grab that shield. He'll get killed if he tries to. So he really is running out of options right now. Silent Knight able to find shots through the wood. No pre-fire taking him out in blaze. Celebratory C4 detonation. Take round one. <laughs> Ended up downing pre -fonds. That's funny. That's not exactly how you want to kick off your map pick after winning 4-2. No, and especially because this is one of the easier objectives to cap on. You just bury it in smokes, you crawl up to the red car and just cap it from the other side. I think that, uh, yeah, I think Alpha was having some strategy issues there. Or I should say poor execution on whatever strategy they cooked up in their board or in the tent room. Yeah. I would anticipate a decent amount of smokes coming in for plays pretty early here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's it was kind of shocking. Like, it, it didn't look like the fire team we've seen so far. You know, they, they felt very discombobulated. I see Mix All just in the chat. He's like, is Blaze going to burn it up or is Fire Team going to put out the fire? Oh, map reset has been triggered. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, not going to weigh in on what happened there, but uh, false start is all we'll say there. <laughs> Five yard penalty. No, just kidding. All right, for realsies this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting into it. Curious to see how Fire Team Alpha goes on the defense for round number two. We could, like I said, I do think it might. It's going to come down to three three. So I, if anything, we could I just kind of get a Volk back and forth trading here. I'm getting a real three three vibe this this map for sure. Judging entirely based on how Fireteam Alpha has been attacking. <laughs> Standard defensive setup. They are, do have one positioned over here to deal with Cryo and Silent as they push up. Snake bite with an angle through the fence there, I believe. Yeah, high, I don't know if you see high voltage right now, but I don't think you can shoot from under that car. Maybe he's just looking. Just using it to peek. Ooh, yes. Aqua found Cryo with that C4. Let's go on the peek. Gets two. Verds here with the shield looking for the refrag. Not in time. And a quick double for Fireteam Alpha puts Blaze into a 3v5. Snakebite does spot Verds here. Ooh, Verds is so sneaky here. Yeah. 
get tagged oh. in the arm, drops back and stays alive. He's gonna go reinforce Prefontaine and Zero and coming in, not quite far enough. High voltage still prone, but lots of fire coming in his direction. So far, fire team putting up a really strong defense. Yeah. They've taken out two of Blaze's members and they still have five up. Nade, not quite uh, far enough. Two that flashes? Been, no, that he had one nade. Oh. That could have been huge <laughs> on the corner. Yeah. Uh, I bet he's wishing he saved that grenade for that shield now that he knows that there's a shield there. Oh, nice shot from high voltage taking out zero. Both of them grabbing kills. Verd's missing pistol shots, exposes themselves, and tucks in. Esco finding Prefontaine, and now Verd's is the last alive in a 1v5, and he is getting pushed. Sickness. About to flank him. Snake bite there, too, and the two of them tag down Verd's. A strong defensive round from Fireteam Alpha as they tie things up 1 1. Look at that. This is, uh, this is still going 3 3. <laughs> <laughs> the writing is on the wall at this point. Well, things change a lot with each objective, right? So, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily You're think right. the Volk <laughs> trading is going to change as we do go to garage. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, garage is so rough as an attacker. Yeah, very limited options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to say the least, right? I mean. We'll see how Fire Team answers back, but this is definitely not the objective they probably wanted to to work with. You are just dropping in. You've missed a excellent series so far. Fire Team Alpha putting up a great battle against Blaze. It's been an excellent back and forth. Blaze taking map one on Bizarre four to two after an early Fire Team Alpha cap. Fireteam Alpha coming back, Subway, 4-2. to two. And Now here we are, Fireteam Alpha's map pick, another night map. We, we did go on to Bizarre Night, did mention. And uh, we made it just in time for a pretty dang good map 3 series decider. Yeah, the theme tonight was spooky night maps. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're you're staring at a monster named Sickness, and he's holding a shield with a gun pointed at your head. <laughs> Nothing scarier than that. Meek caps are certainly something that I'm sure <laughs> both these teams are quite afraid of. Yeah, no kidding. To be fair, if a attacker does sneak around the backyard, it is a pretty easy cap. But other than that, yeah, it's, just... it's a rather hard objective yeah. to, to conquer. Like a team effort, Silent Knight getting out pretty far forward, and he'll be looking for early picks. with a nice pickup. Still needs to confirm it. Looks like Leave it there for Alpha... Bait. Oh, true, yeah. I guess he's not really getting any uh, information. How did Esco get that? Fire. Esco, uh, he put, she got pushed. He got pushed. Uh, now he's going for that sneaky revive. I don't think Prefontaine's going to be ready for this. Yeah. Eyes on and pretty easy.
easy Raz snake bite is gonna re re peak this angle causes a nade oh man oh, if only I was yeah. a real grenade <laughs> <laughs> It is going to be good direction, good, and it'll be good audio uh, distraction. Oh yeah, true. Alpha deciding to play it up a little bit more slowly this time. I don't blame him. Ooh, I think Free Fire ain't hurt him. He did ah. the trade. Nice trade. That's what you want, right? At, at, at worst, you get a trade where you take out both people. Yeah. At best, you get to live through it. Esco peeks up, sees one dead. But I don't think High Voltage or Esco saw zero cross over to that corner. from Esco Fireteam Alpha keeping their kill lead 3-2 now. Oh, Cryo with the flank on Sickness. Oh. Risky. Aqua spotting a couple rotations from Blaze here. Can't quite find the shots and Cryo stays alive. Birds finds Esco. Aqua trading on the corner there as she peeks. Cryo cell Finding the kill and Blaze take their defensive round, push their lead up to one. And you know this this is fine for Blaze. This is how it's gonna go. I think they're okay just trading map, you know, Volk round for Volk round and eventually coming out on top in that seventh round. Yeah, this is coming down to the wire here. I mean, both teams are just so evenly matched here. Uh, it's honestly hard to see who's going to take this. I'm just waiting for a unique offensive push to come out here. Fireteam Alpha can grab this Volk round. I, you know, for them, ideally, they'll grab this Volk round. Then you go into a couple of capable objectives, potentially. Center house, burning building, even, you know, the north uh, northwest objective, capable. So the objectives that are left on the table certainly lead themselves to some cap opportunities. So Fireteam Alpha can still be in this if they grab this next Volk round. It's going to be a lot harder if Blaze can come away, get their mar themselves a Marsog. I completely agree. It's going to be a really interesting answer back here from Alpha. Sounds like they're getting pretty aggressive with their strats. That's how Sickness <laughs> guides his team. He is a focused <laughs> and dedicated player. He recognizes this. I mean... His team recognizes that this map means everything. You know, this is the series. This is what yeah. it's come down to right now. And they do have their backs against the wall. A nice nade comes in right at the oh. feet of Cryo. Somehow he's not dead and is resident. I can't believe he's alive. It was at his feet. He sat there and looked at it. Yeah, and he, it was like he was struggling to decide what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, should I throw it? Should I run? And he's downed instead. Voltage right here. Does Verds know that he's right on the corner? High Voltage does rotate around, finds the shield user. That's a huge pickup. Absolutely huge. Looks like they're trying to get him. Ooh, finds Cryocell through the window. 
wonder if Prefontaine's gonna flank high voltage and just ruin his day. Going Silent Knight also going to be in an engagement soon. Ooh, sickness flanked Prefontaine. Not looking good for Blaze. It is it's not. It's a strong, very strong answer back here as a defense. You know, this objective so hard to cap. Nate comes in, Snakebite yeah. is safe on the corner, and now Silent Knight is going to be in a bit of trouble. High voltage, fine, zero, and... Man. <laughs> ball down to Silent Knight in a 1v5. There's one. one down behind the Good job, Snake. <laughs> Beautiful headshot coming out of Silent. I think Silent realizes he's the only one alive. Calling out info to his team. Just checked his pad. Now he knows. Ooh, Esco gonna... Ooh, he tags him. There's a call out. The whole team of Fire Team Alpha know exactly where Silent Knight is. He's spending precious time here. Not repositioning. He's just, I guess he was expecting Esco to come flying around the corner. Yeah, I think he heard the comms from Esco and was concerned that he was on the other side of that house there, but he is not. And he does have a lot of time left. 3.30 left on the clock, 3.15. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching Silent Night. I don't know. I think he's. Yeah, he's looking around in his headset. <laughs> it was really funny. Probably fidgeting with his cord or something. Yeah. And he's looking for Esco. I wonder if he's going to find him. Might be a little bit easier to see through the, the hedges with night vision on. I'm not sure. You shouldn't be able to view anything through the hedges, though. I think they need to add a, a solid texture sure. or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something. Hot takes from our caster Wookie here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like to throw in a little controversy to spice <laughs> things up. Silent Knight tried to creep his way across high voltage with a quick peek. Finds another kill in that corner, and... That made three for him that round is KD five and two and keep things going with the Volk trend tied up two two. That was such a clutch position that whole round from high voltage. I mean, he just he was getting everyone yeah. off guard. Shield and two kills, pretty big. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, especially that shield early on. Yeah. Now, things get spicy. Fireteam Alpha, knowing Sickness's captaining style, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a thick smoke barrage and a pretty quick push here looking for a objective cap because, you know, I'm sure they're fine trading Volk rounds back and forth. That can continue for a little bit longer. Uh, but not that much longer. Fireteam Alpha need a Marsoc round if they want to win this map. Yeah, I mean, they're they're in cap range now, so yeah. it'll be really interesting to see what Sickness says as they are loading in. I know, I'm trying to predict where they're going <laughs> to load in. Ah, uh, yes, there they are. Do get is a little code reciting, so. As it should be, cap on the mind. Sickness with the shield. He'll lead his team forward as they try and get in range of capping. Burning building. Round number five. It's an interesting defense coming out of Blaze. I mean, look at Zero. He's just 
way back there on the fence line. Oh, he moved up now, but he was way back there a moment ago. Yeah, I mean, he's con pre the angle he's sitting in now is a super common one, so maybe he's concerned about pre-fire. The one he was yeah. holding in the back there is a little less, so he also has a little bit different uh, angle there on that corn. Interesting choice having yeah. I mean, pre-Fontaine, sorry, Fine. being the only one there. Silent Knight finding a nice nade. Not going to be able to confirm that snake by kill, and if he tries to get over aggressive, Esco might be able to find Silent Knight here through the hedges. Uh, shield got spotted. It's been called out. Oh, Cryo's grenade takes out the shield. I think that is worth it to confirm the shield. Certainly a nice pickup, but Aqua able to grab the shield. High voltage gets a pick. Rotations coming in from Blaze as they're concerned about the potential of a cap because that means series if it comes in. So they are obviously very aware of this. Cryo pushing in, Verds tag teaming Aqua Fighter down and comes all to the two remaining over on the west. I hope that they get snake bite up soon. He's gonna bleed out in like 40 seconds. Yeah, here we go. Esco is going for the revive. <laughs> wow, oh. high voltage playing so fast and aggressive through the center here. Grabs one. Silent Knight on a rotation, takes some shots. Snake bite finds the kill. Fireteam Alpha position oh, to get themselves the Marsoc round they need. Cryo, the last defender. Ooh, he saw Hyvels just run around that hedge. Now yeah, he's ready for him. I mean, you have to refocus, regroup, and think of capping right here, right? Oh. Going for the trade, not the optimal strategy <laughs> when you're the last one alive. Fireteam Alpha gets the Marsoc round, but not the cap, so they're going to have to go on to defend if they want to take the series. Yeah, who was that? Cryocell? That was the last guy up. He That was smart move, just get aggressive with it, because you don't want anybody to cap. Yep. So I might as well go down taking out a, a, a Marsoc. One of those guys. Man, th that was a really good prediction, Nightfire. I mean, this is good. <laughs> it's looking like a 3-3. Three, three. We'll see. We'll see. that The objective is certainly capable. Blaze have been looking good. They've gotten caps in the series today, so not ruling them out of getting one now. And I am also very curious to see what Blaze sort of break out for this offensive round. I don't think you target a cap here. No, it's too risky, I think. I think it's just safer to go for kills. But we'll see what happens, right? I mean, if there's an opportunity that opens up and they take an advantage on it, then more power to them. To it, round number five, six, six, six of map three. It is a close one, a barn burner, if you will. Fire Team Alpha on the defensive blaze with their backs against the wall must win this map, must win this round. They lose the series. You know, I was just thinking, if Blaze do win this round, it's probably going to be middle house objective, which is going to be interesting. I mean, what if they go cap? <laughs> what if they sneak Can't in? Can't rule it out. The <laughs> oh, the are here. Already, already finds a kill on snake bite. Oh, a, C a C4 toss saves Sickness' life. He'll go and pick up the kill. Prefontaine oh, comes up. He my goes gosh. down. Sickness looks for the triple. He gets it. Holy crap. Oh man, this is 
not looking good for Blaze right now. Silent Knight Holy shots out towards Sickness. Sickness dropping back. He gets the res, and we're into a 2v2. Suddenly, Silent Knight able to bounce back. Aqua into a trade. Cryo's on objective. Pat out. Sickness here. Is he going to get him on the defense? Can he take the shots? He does oh, it! Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> what a clutch cap. What? An that unreal was unreal play there from Blaze. <laughs> that was probably the most insane round of Suburbia I have ever seen. Swaying so heavily suddenly into Fireteam Alpha Psy with a triple kill from Sickness. <laughs> Dropping back suddenly into... Then all... Somehow we're Silent Knight's getting a res and we're into a 2v2! That was mind-blowing because Sickness threw that C4 downing... Uh, I can't remember, oh. Prefontaine or someone, but... Yeah, or, the, oh no! Yeah, then the Prefontaine was going in for a revive, yeah. and Sickness down, caught him with a needle in his hand. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> birds. That's it. That's it. He was Prefontaine was going to revive birds. Sickness came around the corner, ta tagged both of them, and man, that just ah oh, man, that was insane. Wow. I mean, what a great way to end <laughs> that series. And I, I mean, I said it was going to come down to three three. The end score was going to be four three. Here we are. It just didn't yeah. end up the way I was expecting it. <laughs> but there it is, though. That 4-3 score that you basically were predicting would happen. Wow. I, all things said and done, Fireteam Alpha is a team that I think a lot of squads are going to have to keep an eye out for this season. Because just to come out yeah. to come out in your first season and go up against Blaze, who is a diamond-ranked team, and put up this good of a fight... It's certainly impressive. They are a team that is only going to get better from here, so I'm sure a lot of eyes will be on them. We'll be sure to capture a couple more of their games throughout the course of this season, because I'll be interested in seeing how they develop. And Likewise with Blaze, they're looking strong. They were able to bounce back from some tough losses early on Bazaar, a tough loss on Subway to then win Suburbia like that. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of resilience. That was, yeah, that was impressive. They, they didn't let the morale drop. Uh, they kept their heads up, and I'm, I'm really proud of Blaze for coming back with such an impressive cap like that. Like, uh, I really thought that this was going to go 3-3, mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, I, Sickness was too busy looking at his tablet and totally didn't see him because <laughs> his tablet was, was blocking his view, oh. you know? Oh, man, he was right in front of him. <laughs> wow. Capping. Wow. Uh, that was just purely <laughs> the best entertainment I've seen in a while. Wookie, you have a, a good, a dang good track record of good matches so far this season. We've had some excellent ones. Just another one to add on to the list. Uh, <laughs> no kidding. For the uh, folks at home enjoyed that one too. Thank you so much for tuning in. A quick shout out to our sponsors, Pro2 VR and VR Cover. We appreciate them sponsoring the league and offering prizes at the end of our league to our number one team worldwide and that's always a nice little incentive for the players to sort of drive themselves to get that w and uh shout out to everyone that's dropped in and dropped the subs shout out to anyone that's followed if you haven't followed hit that follow button if you do have twitch prime make sure to drop your sub here support always comes back to us casters to keep delivering you this high octane action that you are quite frankly addicted to also happy valentine's day we love you thank you for tuning in you're our valentine here on the Onward Master League. I think that's going to be it for us on the desk. My name is Nightfire with two E's, my co caster Wookiee with one. We will see you guys this weekend for a lot more action.